Thanks for joining us for 10 News Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Eric Glasser in for Miranda. Rallies, demonstrations continuing across the country after a leaked draft opinion showing a majority of the Supreme Court could be ready to overturn Roe v. Wade. In downtown Tampa this evening, a rally organized by pro-choice supporters was met with a counter-protest right across the street. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Close spoke with people on both sides of the issue. We can come out to the street and we can make this government understand that we will not stand for other people other than ourselves making decisions for our own bodies. Dozens coming out in downtown Tampa to support a woman's right to choose. As I'm fighting for my daughter's right to choose, um, this baby is a girl. Brandy Simon is six months pregnant and stands for abortion rights. No one else should have to make that decision for her. It's not constitutional, it's not right, and we shouldn't be allowing this in our country. Some on the other side of the street are on the other side of the issue. We saw that there was going to be a rally here, so we decided to come and uh, be the opposite voice, be a voice for the babies that don't have a voice. He's a part of a Christian group who believes in banning abortions for religious reasons. We have to protect them because um, it's uh, not only is it the moral thing to do, but it is the um, it is the duty of every Christian. Crossing over, people on the other side of the street believe in abortion rights, saying there are health reasons like an ectopic pregnancy. That results in the fetus dying and it also results in the woman possibly dying. So being forced to have to carry that type of pregnancy is not something any woman should ever have to do. It was reported a majority of the Supreme Court supports overturning Roe v. Wade. A final decision is expected to be made this summer. It was heartbreaking to know that in 2022, women can potentially not have the ability to dictate what happens to their bodies. No matter what side of the street you're on, everyone here wants to make an impact. We are we're not going to stop until abortion is abolished or uh, Jesus returns. If we just keep coming out, hopefully it'll make a difference. As it stands now, Florida law allows a woman to obtain an abortion up to 24 weeks into pregnancy, but that'll change in July. 